Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think this Havelock called us into the yard, but I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. for as long as it takes. It seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission is in that building with the arrow job. So, but I don't want him harmed until I get to the bottom of all this. Careful. The place may be booby-trapped and I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. The servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Looks like Corvo ran amok. Turn this building inside out, and it goes without saying. This area is secret. Still wanders in all things. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire, and he has nowhere else to go. Never thought he'd bother us again. I guess he won't. Ah,
converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy. The dreams were accurate. Which you might have pointed out at the Just time. That is pointless to hold a grudge. I want Even the great peers, days are numbered I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not come? Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Chiron, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and leave our enemies one by one. Whatever you think is best. You think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. Ah. Uh. Gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? I should have guessed you'd want to act decisively. It's a simple adjustment, and we will be ready. It's ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us.
amazing. Destruction on a grand scale. Defies description. So many lives silenced in an instant. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned. I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. But we should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Bloody mess. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily. Just after they landed. I bet the Admiral's got her locked up in a lighthouse somewhere. Pendleton's lost the first round. He's probably dug in someplace, doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you. I'm a little disappointed, Corvo. It's like you've gone out of your way to be brutal. It's been interesting traveling with you. But this is the last time you'll see me, sir. Goodbye. My only hope is that Emily comes out of this all right. Out, Corvo.
Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? The view is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of inbred shit. Come and get me if you're so strong. Stupid blue blood. Let's see how you like this. sit for a while and consider the problem of getting into the gatehouse. I need time alone. Bastards dumped me in. I should have killed them all when I had the chance. Don't say that, my lord. First my brothers, now me. It's my own fault. And now Cousin yeah, Celia's nice. going to inherit. That's the worst of it. <laughs> Been a decent captain. A little slow on the draw yesterday, I have to say. But decent. Yes, my lord. Sorry, my lord.
Whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it.
Could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move, and we need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. You've left behind. Did you want your armor? I always knew you would come. You're my hero. The others are all dead, aren't they? That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. But whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. <laughs>